Hi guys, welcome back to another video. In this video, I will tell you how to study and remember stuff better using Notion. Before we get started, I want to tell you that there are two proven ways which help us study and remember stuff better. So one of them is active recall and the other one is page fixation. I will show you how to incorporate both of these into Notion while studying to help us remember stuff that we have studied in a better and more efficient way. So let's get started. So guys, for anyone who doesn't know what Notion is, it's an all-in-one workspace app which is available for free to download on the internet on both the iOS and Android platforms. It is also available on the Mac and Windows operating system. The thing is, it's a cloud-based software. So everything that you do on your Mac, everything that you create on your MacBook or on your PC gets seamlessly transferred to your phone. So you can use it while you're studying on your laptop or on your iPad and later you can use your phone to review it. That is how I use it. So guys welcome back the first thing that i want you to do is open the link in the description of the video you will be redirected into this page and once you are on this page i want you to copy the link and open your notion application and go to an untitled page and you paste the link here the moment you paste it you will be given three options i want you to select link to page once you are done linking the page i want you to duplicate it so after duplicating it drag it to your workspace as you can see, I have already created one page, so I'm not doing it again. So after that, you will have to open the page. So this is how it will look on your Notion application. This is today's action menu where you will add the topic that you're planning to study today. It will automatically appear here. After this, uh, below it is this calendar, which will tell you what are your upcoming topics that you have to revise. So based on the topics that you're studying, you can change these tags. So this is my page where I have changed the tags into farm medicine radiology and pathology which I will be studying. So I will tell you how to create. First thing I wanted to do is for example if you are standing planning to study bioavailability and bioavailability comes under farm so I will add it as farmer. Once it's done I will open it. Click on the open tab here and open as a page. So once you are on this page go to your textbook. So this is where I will be studying bioavailability from. The moment you are on this page, you, so you open your textbook and you study this topic. Till here. And once you are done studying, I want you to make questions. You should make questions in such a way that which will stimulate you to think actively. That's how active recall will work. So I want you to make questions which will make you to recall the answer not just looking at the answer passively but actively trying to recall it for example here bioavailability so here he has defined what is bioavailability and he has given an example so i will go to my notion page i will ask it add a question so once you're on you're on this page you have to make a question what is bioavailability okay once you made it into a question i want you to change it into a toggle After that you open the toggle and you can type in your answer here or if you want you can just go to your textbook and you can copy the answer and you can put it here. Okay. So next time whenever I look at this question I am actively trying to recall what it is. What is by availability and after recalling I will look at the answer and I will check if I am right or wrong. Let's make another question. What are the factors which influence? bioavailability and again when you're trying to actively recall you just look at the question what are the factors which influence bioavailability and now you will try to actively recall it once you're done you look at the answer this is how active recall works i want you to go back to your master page now so if you have studied it today, you just add your date as today. Based on this, it will calculate the next repetition. When next time when you have to revise, next date for you to for, for you to revise. Once you're done with first revision, you just click this, and again it will create a new date for next revision. 
once you're done with that again it will create a new date so this is how you will incorporate active recall and space repetition into your study let's do one more topic for example i have to remember this stuff drugs used in open angle glaucoma so i want to remember this entire table so you know these are the subgroups of the drugs and these are the drugs in it and this is the mechanism of action and these are the methods of administration if you want to remember this you can again go back to your notion page create another topic open page for example let's say glaucoma drugs here you will create a question hashtag toggle the question is what are drugs used in open angle glaucoma now for answer you can just crop in the page and put it here i'll show you so you go into this page and you just open the sniping tool sniping tool and you just copy this once you have copied it you just go to the notion page and you just drag it here so next time whenever you are reading what are the drugs used in open angle glaucoma now we will try to actively recall what are the drugs what are the classes of drug what are the examples of drugs and what is the mechanism of action of these drugs once you are done with that now you look at the answer as you can see the table is here so that you can cross check your answers once you are done with that again you will go back to the now in space repetition template here for example glaucoma drugs will also come under farm so put it on the farm or you can put it on the medicine and after that you will add the date on which you have studied it so it's today again based on it you will get the next repetition so as you can see my glaucoma drugs is pending for me to study tomorrow and once you're done with first revision you click this so on and so forth so guys this is how i use notion for active recall and space repetition if this video has helped you and if you want to learn more on how to use notion in med school do let me know in the comment section below and i will see you guys in the next video peace